it's finally here. A motion sensor for home kit that supports thread. Not only that, but this thing also includes a light sensor, also exposed to home kit, and can be used both indoors and outdoors. And for all that, it actually comes in at a pretty good price. We'll compare it to some other motion sensors like the Zigbee ones from Philips Hue and the newest Acara motion sensor, as well as the old Eve motion sensor. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane, if this is your first time here, and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit, with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in here. This new second generation Eve motion sensor is a huge upgrade from the previous Bluetooth version. The most notable upgrades are, of course, the addition of both a light sensor and support for thread. This is Eve's 14th HomeKit product to support Thread, which as you may know is one of the main protocols of Matter, which is that new smart home uh, standard that we should be seeing roll out later this year. That means this motion sensor along with the other Eve Thread products will support Matter via firmware updates later this year. That also means that once that happens, you'll be able to use these Eve products with not only HomeKit, but also Alexa, Google Assistant, SmartThings, and so on. In other words, this motion sensor right here is kind of future-proof. It is battery powered, requiring only two AAA batteries. I like that they don't use some strange, you know, weird battery that like I've seen in other smart home sensors. I've always got AAA batteries laying around, which is good. It's about two and a half by two and a half inches, so it's a perfect square, and it's less than one and a half inches thick. It is IPX3 certified water resistant, meaning you can safely use this thing outside, which that was a huge surprise to me. I'm really happy about that. The specs claim an operating temperature of zero degrees Fahrenheit to 130 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 18 to 55 degrees Celsius. It can be set on a surface or wall mounted. Again, it does support thread, but also supports Bluetooth. So if you don't have any thread border routers in your home, like an Apple TV 4K or a HomePod mini, you can utilize the Bluetooth connection if you want, but you're probably gonna wanna make sure yours is connecting via thread because it's just gonna be much more responsive than Bluetooth. One of the big advantages of thread technology is that your thread devices create a self-healing mesh network, giving you better connectivity and range you know, of your smart home products. Now, this product being just a battery powered device won't be able to extend your thread network. It'll only act as you know, an endpoint. Uh, just like the you know the thread door and window sensor, you're typically going to have to have products that maintain a constant connection to power, like the Eve Energy Smart Plug, to have the ability to extend that thread network. Now, when mounted about six and a half feet high or two meters, the sensor operates at a 120 degree field of view with a max distance of 30 feet or nine meters. The onboard light sensor can detect light levels between zero to 15,000 lux. I do recommend having either the latest generation Apple TV 4K or a HomePod mini in your home. Again, that's so you can utilize that thread capability and be able to access the sensor remotely. You can add it to your HomeKit setup either directly in the Home app or in the Eve app. I'd recommend using the Eve app because you can check you know, some of the additional features and stuff like that and also make sure there's no firmware updates available. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll tap Add Accessory in the Eve app and scan our HomeKit code, add it to our home. And we can choose our room. I'll put it in the test room right here. We can rename it. And as you can see, we have our motion sensor and light level sensor exposed to HomeKit. And we're done. Now let's check out some of the settings that we get with this motion sensor here in the Eve app. We'll tap on our new motion sensor. Here is a record of our motion. Once it starts detecting motion, you'll see a record of your motion right here. We'll tap settings and you can see we have some adjustments here we can make to the sensitivity. We can go low, medium, or high. And what I really like is we can 
enable this to only detect motion in the darkness. So if you're using this for, you know, an outdoor home kit light or something like that, it'll only detect motion at night, which is nice. You can adjust the duration of the motion sensor right here from as little as two seconds all the way up to 15 hours. After motion has ceased, it will still be reported as detected for this amount of time. So these are some real nice settings to have uh, to really fine tune your motion sensor. And lastly, to check that it is indeed using thread, go to the thread network section under the settings tab and you can see all your thread connected devices. If I scroll down here, I can find my new Eve motion sensor. I can tap on that and we can see here that it is indeed connected over thread. Now this could take a little time for it to show up and connect over thread from Bluetooth. So if you don't see that immediately, just be patient and give it a little time and eventually it should connect. And now that I've added it in the Eve app, it will automatically show in the home app. You can see I have my light sensor and my motion sensor here. I can now utilize these sensors to automate any of my other home kit accessories. For example, my lights and other things, even from different brands, since they all support home kit. Next, I really wanted to do a performance test and compare it to the old Eve Bluetooth motion sensor the newest Acara P1 motion sensor and the very similar Philips Hue outdoor motion sensor. Both the Acara P1 and the Philips Hue outdoor motion sensors connect over Zigbee. So this will be a good performance test comparing Zigbee to thread and of course Bluetooth from that old Eve motion sensor. So I put my iPad over here on the table so we can take a good look at the performance every time that door opens and these sensors detect motion. If we take a closer look, you can see that uh, the Philips Hue, Acara, and the new Eve motion sensor are all pretty much exactly the same with that old Bluetooth motion sensor falling behind. If we slow it down, you can see here that Zigbee and Thread perform almost the exact same uh, down to the split second and that uh, Bluetooth sensor, of course, coming in last. So I've only had this for a very short time. Um, it just came out, but so far it has been working quite well. It is very responsive when using thread, much more responsive than the previous generation's Bluetooth only version. You can pick one of these up today for only $39.99 US, which is, uh, in my opinion, like I said, very reasonable. Eve products have always been a little bit on the premium side, and that includes, you know, both the quality and the pricing. So to me, this is actually one of their most most reasonably priced products, um, you know, in my opinion. I think everything you get with this, an indoor and outdoor motion sensor, a light sensor, the thread support, all for 40 bucks, not bad at all, especially being, you know, the only thread enabled home kit motion sensor on the market at the moment. The only thing left to be determined really is the battery life, you know, which I'm real interested to see. Having only had mine for a short time, I obviously couldn't test this out. I'll probably put mine in, you know, a pretty high traffic area just to see how long the battery does last. Thread products are supposed to be low power and very good on battery life, but as we've seen with some other thread products in the past, that's not always the case. So stay tuned for updates on that. Follow me on my other social media and join the live streams. You can ask me there anytime. If you want to know more about Matter, that new smart home standard we mentioned earlier, you can check out this video right over here. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those live streams and new home kit videos every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.